Yes, Yorkville is now too good for the hot dog. The fancy downtown district, known for its high-end shopping and luxury dining, has booted smog dogs come this spring. The vendors have been shut out completely because the, uh, the, the new design, um, the trees and the planters were put in their spaces. As you can see, remnants of the construction are still on Bloor Street. Trees will go in this spring and the granite sidewalks will be cleaned off once the snow is melted. The only thing that won't be back is the hot dog and other street vendors that used to occupy this street. The Bloor Yorkville BIA says they're doing that for a reason. It just doesn't fit anymore. Yeah, we're not making any bones about the fact that this was done to be an enhancement to the pedestrian environment. And sticking a cart in the middle of it doesn't make any sense and it doesn't meet the mandate of what the project was about. City Councillor Kristen Wongtam says she is trying to serve up a solution. And what I was trying to do is craft a compromise. Uh, there are other very high pedestrian traffic areas in the ward that I'm hoping to, to help um, basically relocate them to. Is this a wiener war or is the, or is the battle lost? I hope not. I mean, we're throwing out the olive leaf to the Yorkville BIA in the hope that uh, there will be some goodwill. While the Street Vendor Association is vowing to fight on for spots on Bloor Street, it seems the battle is done like dinner. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Don Pete.